Hi, welcome to Raven Beak Nature Works. I'm Jamie McDonald. Uh, today I have a batch of custom bows here that are all finished up and about to head off. And I just want to take a minute just to send them out into the world and show you what I've been working on. So, up first we have English longbow named Yanis or Yanus. It is 40 pounds at a 31 inch draw and very long, very straight and very lovely. Nice tight grain wood, nice heartwood sapwood. Uh, blue lapis inlay for right-handed archer and black horn caps. So just a real slender classy English longbow. Started with the hint of reflex and came out pipe straight and just a beauty. So that's Yanis or Yanus, 40 pounds, 31 inch draw. Headed off here shortly. Next up we have a little guy, Agroterra, uh, 44 pounds at a 28 inch draw. Burn symbol for the arrow pass. Again the black horn caps and just a real slender little hint of reflex in the lower limb um, and just incredibly tight grain on this little guy. So it's still oiling, there'll be a few more days here, but a real classy little U longbow there, Agroterra. Um, up next we have a Mistress, 45 pounds at a 29 inch draw, inlaid both left and right handed with copper and the yak horn caps, which I really like, beautiful colors to them. Had a little knot in the lower limb there, which I picked out and filled in, right close to the tip. Nice little wiggle and a bump. Um, yeah, so real clean, classy, and just with a hint of character to it. And the tips are just lovely. So that's headed off here as well. A mistress, 45 at 29. Up next, we have Wajo Nick. I hope I'm pronouncing it close. 48 pounds at a 30 inch draw. Beautiful clean piece of wood. It's got antler tips on it. I believe it's either moose or deer antler. Just a nice bright white uh, black inlaid arrow pass. And very clean, very slender. Um, yeah, and just a lovely piece of wood and hopefully a lovely bow. So 40, 48 pounds at a 30 inch draw. All finished up and heading off here shortly. Next we have, this is a beauty named Rio Thames. It pulls 48 pounds at a 29 inch draw, real tight grain wood, um, and just beautifully white sapwood. Perfectly clear piece of wood, and just a beautiful bow here. Black horn caps with the cow horn, and a green malachite, malachite uh, arrow pass. So, beautiful bow, Rio Thames, 48 at 29. Still oiling on that one. Um, up next, we got, this is the big one of the batch, named Urth. Um, Sort of true English war bow. Here we got 100 pounds, 32 inch draw, nice beautiful tight grain wood, tiny little bumps in character but just for the most part long, clean and straight. Um, yeah, beautiful. The yak horn, we've been using a lot of the yak, yak lately. Um, yeah, so that's heading off here. Burn symbol for a left-handed archer on this guy. So that's worth 100 pounds at 32. Next we have a laminate named Ivor Lee, 50 pounds at a 30 inch draw, dark red handle and a black inlaid pass. It's got the black caps on it. Again, just that beautiful, just the hint of reflex, which I really like and just makes them real quick and snappy. So that's heading out. That's Ivor Lee, 50 pounds, 30 inch draw. We've got a recurved laminate here. I've been having a lot of fun with these lately. Bit of a new design, um, but yeah, really enjoying it. This guy's stained, sort of the British tan, a dark red, um, named Arin, 53 pounds at a 30 inch draw, bamboo back, black overlays with string and groove, and a black leather handle. So that's Arin, 53 pounds, 30 inch draw. Again, heading out here shortly. And the last one of the batch, beautiful little flat bow. Had a lot of fun with these, haven't built too many lately. Um, but yeah, really like them. Nice shaped handle. Real comfy, fits the hand, arrow shelf, arrow rest, inlaid arrow pass. This guy is named Ilafos, and it's 43 pounds at a 28 inch draw. Nice recurves on it. Um, yeah, I love the shape when these are all strung up. It's got that graceful curve to it. And yeah, black overlays, so all done. And Ilafos, 43 pounds, 28 inches. So there they are. I just, yeah, wanna take a minute, show you what we've been up to here. Um, before they head off to their new homes. So thanks a lot for looking.